Well, whether it is mowing the lawn or taking out the trash, kids will reluctantly do their chores, even if there is money involved. But now is the perfect time for parents to teach kids how money really works. Steve Siebold is the author of How Money Works, and he joins us this morning. Steve, so good to see you. Thanks for being here with us on this Monday. Wanted to start with this. It kind of drives me nuts about school. They never teach kids about how to handle or manage money. Is this uh, something that you think should happen? And where should we start? How young is too young? Yeah, no, you make a great point. They don't teach this in schools, and it, it really is a shame because it's one of the most important things in life. And I don't think you can really start too early, Tim. I think that maybe, you know, eight or nine, ten years old is a really good time to start teaching kids about the, the fundamentals of money, the basics of how money really works. And I know a lot of times in my household, we talk, my wife and I will talk about money and one of the kids will come in, they're, they're not young, they're like 12 and 16 years old and sometimes they'll say, oh, we shouldn't talk about money in front of the kids, uh, but maybe it's something they should be exposed to, don't you think, as long as the conversation is civil, right? Yeah, definitely, because the question becomes, where are they going to learn it? They don't even really teach things about the, the fundamentals about money, the important fundamentals in, in college or university. I mean, I, I know so many people with degrees in finance that really don't understand the principles of how money works in terms of building wealth and retirement and security and those types of things. So if the parents don't teach the kids, uh, where is it going to come from? And as far as specifics go on, on where to maybe start with the kids, um, what do you think? Is savings account, things like that? You have to save some of your money and don't try to blow it all on that next great video game? Yeah, well, I would start out, I mean, those are obviously great things. I would also start out with teaching them to have a positive relationship with money because it's obviously a, a topic that, that very few people really engage in, um, especially with kids. And and so we, we, we sort of look at money in terms of fear and scarcity, the way our parents typically grew up and their parents grew up. And there's a way to teach them to have a positive relationship with money in the context of the idea that, that this is where dreams can, can be manifested and security can be uh, can be built with money. It makes your life it doesn't make you happier, but it makes your life a heck of a lot easier. And if you can manage it successfully, you don't have to stress out about whether you'll be able to take a vacation. So teaching kids on how to handle it and the opportunities that come from handling it well is probably one of the big things we should be thinking about. Oh, no question. I mean, teaching them things like the rule of 72 and the, 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 the time value of money, you know, so they start investing when they're young, maybe in their 20s, and, and teach them compound interest, just these basic things that really, Tim, a 12-year-old kid could actually understand, but none of us get this education for some reason. They just don't teach it. Yeah, a lot of our kids are, are great at math, so they understand that part of it. We just need to get the, the money education in there as well. One of the things, uh, Steve, that you say or one of your tips is teach your kids to fail forward. We're not talking about falling forward, but fail forward when it comes to money. What does that mean? Well, the entrepreneurs, for example, the innovators that built the United States, I mean, over the, in the history of our country, were really people that that took chances and they and they 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 struck out on their own to stake their own claim and and when you're doing that you're going to fail sometimes especially i would encourage kids to be entrepreneurial and enter that space whether it's a lemonade stand or selling christmas cards door to door like i did years ago or whatever it is but fail forward be, don't be afraid of failure that's part of the money a part of acquiring wealth and uh, that all starts for a lot of our, our kids with uh, chores around the house. What's a good couple they should be doing? Of course, we think about cutting the grass, maybe making a little money that way. Even something simple like that can, can get them on a course of understanding how money works and how they can take good ownership of it? Oh, absolutely. Anything. Anything around the house, any chores. And I would probably try to price the chores according to, in, ter in terms of allowance, let's say, in terms of what they're really worth and then teach them about the, the marketplace in a free market economy that these, these labor type jobs have an actual value to them based on the current time. And teach them the, the value of money and the value of time and then teach them to, be go, to go beyond that to build a business where they're making money when they're not working. That's another level. And I've also uh, uh, read that one of your uh, other tips is even if parents aren't good with their money, you can still teach your kids good money tips. Some might think that that doesn't work out, but uh, it's tough to be good with our money, even as adults, right? 
It, it really is, unless you really do understand that we just live in a country, as you mentioned, Tim, that we, we, we're financially illiterate. And that's why Tom Matthews and I wrote this book, because we're really trying to make a difference in financial literacy, because you don't have to be a math major or a finance, uh, have a PhD in finance. To, to become wealthy in this country, to become at least at least uh, you know where you don't have to worry about money the rest of your life. You just have to understand the basics of how money really works. Right, uh, vexing for a lot of people, but get your kids started early. Steve Siebold, we really appreciate it and uh, urge people to check out the book to take those tips to go and get those kids once again called How Money Works. Steve, thanks so much for joining us here in Toledo. Thanks so much. Thanks, Tim. Well, we have much more WTOL 11, your day to come.